we've obviously got a very long history with Bands of America and competitive success with Bands of America, but one of the things that I talk to the students about right away at the beginning of each season is those successes aren't their successes yet. Um, and it's a completely new group every year. And we work to take that group, develop them into hopefully an incredible performance at the end. For Carmel, we don't really like base the success off of um, the wins and stuff like that. We kind of base it off of the process. I just think about performing this show now and making it the best that it can be. The success of feeling like we did amazing and we did our best, that's a really great feeling. And that's the thing that's really important to us, is making sure that the quality of that performance lives up to our standards and expectations, and then whatever competitive thing happens with that after that point is, is what it is. for us to get this opportunity at Super Regionals in preparation for Grand Nationals. The sound is so different than outside. It really like echoes off of the walls, so we really have to tell the marchers to be aware of that and <laughs> not to freak out when you hear the sound. There's a lot of nerves, and so we try to communicate to the kids what they're gonna see, obviously the different markings, what's above them, but we also try to hone in on the fact that what's underneath their feet is the same size field that they've been on this entire season, and that kind of grounds them a little bit. We know that Grand Nats is focused on the effect of the show. The pieces from the judges' feedback is, okay, the effect is what we really need to hone in on. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on in this next month. Just to be in this space, it's a certain feeling you just can't replicate anywhere else. It's awesome. It's beautiful. I, I love Lucas Oil. <laughs> With a score of 93.4, the 2023 Bands of America St. Louis Super Regional Champion, the Blue Springs High School Marching Band from Blue Springs, Missouri. It's, it's really interesting seeing all of the growth that we've had, especially over the last, even over the last couple of weeks going into St. Louis. And so I was very, very proud of them during that moment. And just watching everything come together is so cool. Since I'm a freshman, it's a whole new experience being in that dome. It's kind of overwhelming a little bit, I guess. In mid-Missouri, we don't have domes that we can practice in, but actually getting inside in a dome where the kids can really feel that experience helps us for Indianapolis. In preparation for that, rehearsals, I think, are going to be just as rigorous as if, you know, we hadn't had a great performance at St. Louis. Like, we're still going to try as hard as we can, and whatever score we get is what score we get. It allows our kids to go into Grand Nationals and feel a lot more comfortable and understand kind of the expectation of what a BOA show is. We're a 2A band, we're tiny. Just go out there like we own the fields because it's our field for that eight minutes that we're on there, you know, and just look up and, and like take in what it is because not a lot of small bands get to experience what we get to. So really just take it all in. Performance is very important for us to get ready for uh, the Grand National Show. We spend a lot of time uh, doing repetitions of, of different segments of the show. We say it might not sound like this or feel like this, but you have to replicate the way you were trained. You know, we've been trained really well. We know what we're doing. So as long as we just like have our heads, you know, on our necks, we're good. <laughs> Lucas Oil is a big deal for all of us. I'm really excited to perform. The number is secondary to that feeling of leaving it all out there um, and, and letting the audience enjoy what we're doing. No matter how it went, we got to do it together. 